Welcome to the video you may think you've seen enough of, but I can assure you, you haven't. Because now, after many years of testing many bags, and my life is so hard, I get sent like so many camera bags, I have some recommendations. If you're watching this video, maybe you're in the market for a new one. Maybe you just got your last one really dirty because that's what happens. And then you're like, do I clean it? I have the bag for you if you're that dirty photographer. This video is also for you. We're gonna go through four of my favorite camera bags. I rotate between them. Yes, I am bougie. I have four of them but if I didn't I wouldn't be able to sit here and provide you with this information on which camera bag is the best for you moving on first up we have I mean I've talked about this a couple times in the channel but if you're new here this is your first time listening to it the brevity jumper bag So although this is a white bag, there are other colors, but here's the coolest part that Brevity has actually been embracing a lot on their TikTok account is that you can wash these. I have literally put this in the washing machine and then in the dryer on a trip because I got this exact bag, which looks quite nice, completely covered in mud. So if you're a rough and tumble kind of person, this one might be a great option for you. Although it looks like a normal knapsack, which by the way, I kind of like when you're traveling, it is a camera bag. At the same time, you could use it as a normal knapsack, backpack knapsack. Is knapsack like a Canadian thing? So you could use it both ways, which is why I really love this bag. It has this little easy access side pocket right here to just whip your camera in and out. The inside is completely modular, so you can make it work for whatever gear you have handy. It has a little front pocket right here, these little mesh pockets, which are perfect for lens filters or any little doodad you wanna throw right in there. So there's a couple different ways you can open it. This is the main area to get access to all of your gear. I mean, we only have three compartments in here because usually when I'm using this, it's as a day bag. So I'm packing this in my suitcase when I'm traveling to use as a run and gun day bag and then I have a larger camera bag with every single thing I'm bringing and that's a camera bag I'll talk about in a second. Because this one I can completely flatten it down and squish into things or I can use it as a normal knapsack. That's why I freaking love this bag. Little Velcro inserts. Nothing crazy here, but these are sturdy. Like the back of this is quite hard. The front is a little bit softer, but I've never had an issue with any gear getting damaged while using this bag. Then we have this upper pocket. So the really cool thing about this is that you can either decide, let me try and show you. If you wanna use this bag completely, like the entire inside compartment all in one go, you can do that by opening this flap that divides the top and the bottom section, and then it becomes one big bag. Or if you want it to become its own separate section, you can do that too. The back has a luggage strap for your carry-on, so you don't necessarily have to keep it on your back the entire time. It has a top strap. It does have a little secret compartment here for your wallet, your keys, all of those little itty bitty items. If you have a tripod, there's two different ways you could actually secure it to this bag. You could put it in the side pocket here, or you could use this for a water bottle, but it does have this strap here to either keep the tripod up straight so it doesn't flop around, or you could use it to secure your water bottle depending on how large it is, or you could secure the tripod to the bottom. So if you have a tripod and a water bottle, you can still have both. I love this bag. I will never get rid of this bag. I have it in two colors. I have it in this and the olive, and I will never part with it. Never. Last but not least, you're wondering where the laptop sleeve is. It's right there. It fits more than you think it does. Like it looks like a small bag, but it fits a lot. All right, moving on to something a little bit bigger and beefier. Now we have the ever so popular Peter McKinnon Nomadic camera bag. Probably, arguably, one of the most popular bags on the market right now. I was sent this early on, so this is a pre-production model. So there are a couple things about this bag I know aren't included in the final one. Overall, here are my impressions of it. It is a really cool bag. I really like how sturdy it is. My gear definitely feels protected in it. But you know what the thing is about these bags? I get really confused about where you open them. Like, even though I've had it for a long time, you know what I mean? Or is it just me and my dyslexia? I get confused. I'll open Open this and be like, oh, that's not the inside. And then I flip it over and I open the back and then I've wasted all this time trying to figure out how to get into my bag. But I'm sure just with more use, you would get over that. So in this version, this front pocket has like a bunch of little elastic mesh compartments. I believe in the final one, this is divided up more. Don't quote me on that. The thing about the sides, this I thought was super innovative. So you can, if you're putting your tripod in here and you've got your little elastic straps to secure it or whether it's a water bottle or whatever. This is stretchy, so the elastic holds it, but when you're not using it, that is the thing about most bags, is that pocket's just hanging around. This has a magnet. Ready? 
That's satisfying. I appreciate little details like that. Like that was just smart. Now it's open the inside. See, that's the laptop pocket. How do I? Okay, every time I do that. We don't have all of the different compartments in it right now, but there is a fair amount of room. I do like this bag, okay? So don't hate me for what I'm about to say. I really struggle packing it. I don't know what it is, whether it's the length of the dividers, the size they are, it should fit everything. Everything else about the dividers is really cool. They're all, I'll take one out to show you. They're all multi-purpose pretty much. They all have, oh, the Velcro is super strong. However you wanna bend it, whether you don't wanna use this side, you can just fold it over. It's really whatever you want it to be. The attention to detail in the design is cool. You got the little Pirate Pete logo. I do like the colors. I do like these zipper mesh pockets. Love this pocket. Love how, again, it's a magnet, so I don't have to worry about opening it, zipping, zipping it shut. Yeah, same kind of thing as in the jumper bag. You can completely fold, like take this off, flatten it, use the whole thing as a backpack if you want. It is a very modular bag. I do really like this bag. I do think it would be a great investment. We use it often. If I can only bring one camera bag when I'm traveling, when I don't have enough room to have my rolling camera bag, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, and my jumper bag, then it would be something like this I reach for. But the next bag I'm gonna talk about is the newest addition to my bag collection and it's really, really cool. It has a really cool feature, super innovative. Let's talk about it. Oh, and there is a laptop sleeve. This video is sponsored by me, Lizzie Pierce. Odds are if you're watching this video, you are most likely a creative person. You're a photographer, you're a videographer, you're a graphic designer, what have you. I've got the tools that empower and enhance your creative business. Seriously. It says that on my site. Now, speaking of my website, that's where you'll find all of my LUTs, presets, business resources, prints, merch, and so much more. My products have helped thousands of creators elevate their creativity, propel their careers, and overall make more money. Whether you're new to my channel or you've been here since day one, thank you, I need you all to do a couple of things. First, I wanna give you guys a little sampler pack. So if you click the link in the description below, you'll receive a free bundle to give you a little sample of what you can expect to receive in some of these products. Second, once you've fallen in love with everything in the free bundle, then you can go and check out the other products, watch your creative business prosper, and then come back here to thank me. <laughs> I mean, like, you don't have to thank me, but it would, it would feel good. Anyways, Back to the video. This is from Bevis. It's really cool. When they emailed me to send me this bag, this is not sponsored by the way, I was like, another camera bag, like what could you possibly have that's different than the other camera bags I already have? Because I really like the camera bags I already have. And then they showed me how this strap, pop lock, drop it system works, and I was like, I must acquire this. In many ways, it is your standard camera bag. It's got some nifty front pockets, it's got your little rain cover situation, dry bag situation, tucked in down there. You've got this strap up here for tripods, etc. You've got your top handle. You've got your side access here. But I'm about to pitch you why you won't need this access at all. So there are two ways you can wear this bag. You can wear it as a normal backpack or you can wear it as a sling, like a crossbody. Basically how that works is, and we'll have some videos on screen as we demo this. This strap over here, you kind of fold over the front of the bag. Then as you can see, there's a little bit of excess, but they thought about that. That's why there's this little clip right here and you just clip the strap in to that little button and now it's tucked away on the front of the bag. Then with this remaining strap, you put this across your body and then when you need to access something in the bag, you flip it in front of you. This does zipper shut by the way. Now just so you guys can see this overhead, you have this handle and this button. You press the button with one hand. It opens and now you've got your entire modular inside. Here's your little dry pouch that you could shove in the bottom. But it's this little fastener thing that fascinated me, if you will, because that's the number one Sorry, I had to burp. This is the number one thing that is the most annoying part about camera bags is when it's on your back and you're like, oh, I gotta go set it down. Or That's why that side access is really handy. But what if you have to change lenses? It's not easy to do in your hands. What if you drop something? Like it's a risky bisky game. This, you can take out what you need. You can leave it open if you want, but they made it so that this back compartment is sturdy. Like. It's hard, so not only is it protecting the gear that's inside of it, but it's actually acting as like a little table, a little surface for you while you're still standing. So all you have to do is click that. You don't have to zip it shut because it's locked now. 
that's not opening up. You can set your stuff down on top of this while it's across your body. Change lenses, memory cards, straps, I don't know what you're doing, many things. You can do all of that on top of this. Then you don't even have to zip back up. You can sling it around, put it right back on your back. Laptop sleep. Is it missing anything else? It also does have that secret front compartment right here. Bevis. Last but not least, I've talked about this to death, but I'm still not tired of talking about it. My low pro, oh my gosh, doesn't fit. <laughs> This is from the Runner series, this camera bag. This is my ultimate camera bag because it fits everything and I don't have to carry it on my back. If I absolutely need to, I can. There are straps on this side. I have them very terribly tucked into the bottom. You can see I have used this bag to death and that's because it's just the best carry-on camera bag in my opinion. Like back problems, guys, not worth it. This has all the pockets you could ever need. It's got these random little ones in here that are super handy, this front compartment. It fits not on your laptop. You've got an iPad. You've got an area for your cables. You can put like a notebook in here. It makes sense. It's in the front pocket. You know what to reach for. You know where to open everything up. Then in your main compartment, you've got all of your modular insides. You've got more zipper pockets. You have little pockets for memory cards or I sometimes put like little tripod plates in there just so I know where they are. I fit everything in here. It always fits. Always. You can either put your tripod on the side. I usually put it on the front here. It has a little side handle, which is important. It has the top handle, which is important. It's just like the wheels. Don't underestimate the wheels. You may think it's clunky. You may think it's extra. But by the end of the day, when everybody else is super tired, you're fine. They don't sell it anymore. Oh, that's so sad. They do have a newer version of this bag. They don't have this exact model available anymore. So you best believe that when this bag breathes its last day, I will be running to the store and purchasing that one because I cannot live without my rolly bag. Could you use a Pelican? Certainly, but it's big and it's heavy and it's clunky. Depends what you need it for though. I'm not running around with a Red or an Ari. I'm not running around with an Alexa. Just got my Sony's in here. It's perfect. <sighs> Well, I hope you all enjoyed my camera luggage haul. I would die with all of these bags and they all get my Lizzie Pierce seal of approval. So thanks for being here. In these challenging times, please give this video a like. If you liked it, subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. It really makes a difference on this channel and I so appreciate it. Thank you for being here and listening to me ramble and I will see you in the next one.